If you guys need any FIFA 22 coins, make sure you check out IGVault.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a nice 6% extra discount. So what's going on guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to be doing a squad builder video. Uh, it's going to be a League 1 and Serie A hybrid and the team costs around 400k. I know that seems very pricey at the moment, but I wanted to give you guys a team that you could aim for uh, if you're struggling, you know, because not everybody just wants a cheap starter team. So if you're looking to aim for something, let's say by the end of next week, uh, this is a team that you guys could go for. The reason I I've picked these two leagues is because the Serie A is very cheap uh, and efficient for what you pay basically you know compared to like the Premier League you're paying like a third of the price for players uh, and obviously the league and players in this team are very good so they're probably the most pricey uh, but like I said this is just a team you guys can aim for if you want to uh, I'd just like to apologize for not uploading yesterday I don't know if you can tell by my voice I haven't been feeling too great the past couple of days so I couldn't actually record yesterday because I didn't really have a voice uh, but yeah, just before we get into the video guys, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside guys, let's get right into the video. So in goal guys, we actually have Handanovic. I know I've got Chesney in the club, but you'll see why I'm not using him uh, in a moment. The reason we've gone for Handanovic is because he only costs 5k and he's an 86 rated card, which means you're not going to lose any money on him in the long run uh, because obviously when SBCs come out he'll actually go up in price so you know it's actually a safe card to have in your club because he's not going to drop in price and you'll actually probably make money on him the second reason we've gone for Handanovic is because of chemistry uh, and if you see here, he gets a green link to Skriniar, who is our first centre-back. Now, Skriniar is fantastic because he's a medium high. He's got a four-star weak foot, which means he can pass with both feet. He's six foot two, got good pace, uh, good defending stats, and he's just a decent centre-back all round. So that's why we've gone with Skriniar. He costs around 20k. That is very good for that card. I will not lie. Now, at left back, guys, we've got one of the more expensive players in this team. It is Hernandez. Now, the reason we've gone with Hernandez is pretty self-explanatory. If you look at his card, he is extremely good. He's 84 rated with 93 pace. He's got okay shooting, good passing, good dribbling, okay defending, and okay physical. And obviously, if you put a shadow or whatever chem style you want on him, he becomes very, very good. Uh, so that's why we've gone with Hernandez. He costs around 70k. He's one of the more expensive players in this team. But honestly, is worth it he's extremely good in this game now the other center back guys we've actually gone with our first league un player and that is Marquinhos he is another one of the more expensive players in this team he cost me 80k when I got him now the reason we've gone with Marquinhos is because obviously he gives good links to PSG players he's medium high he's got good pace great defending and good physical he's also got decent passing and dribbling which is very useful on a center back uh, I put a shadow on him just to give him that extra pace but honestly Marquinhos is very good in this game now at right back we've got a player which you might struggle to get purely because he's extinct at the moment but when EA, uh, when EA update the price ranges he'll be more attainable uh, and that is Hakimi. The reason we've gone with Hakimi is because obviously he's got insane pace. Uh, he links to Marquinhos, he's got a good weak foot, uh, he's got okay dribbling, decent defending stats and obviously if you put the right chem style on him uh, his defending becomes very very good anyway. So uh, that's why we've gone with Hakimi because he's an incredible card and you do need decent fullbacks in this game. And obviously if he gives a green link to Marquinhos that works perfectly. Now the first central defensive midfielder we've got is Genie Wijnaldum. Where is he? There he is. The reason we've gone with Wijnaldum is because he's well balanced and that's what you want from a central defensive mid. He also only costs 22k uh, and obviously his stats are very very good. He's a high high, 4 star, 4 star um, and yeah he links to both of these players here. So I highly suggest picking up Wijnaldum because he's a very good player in this game. I've really enjoyed using him. Now the other central defensive mid guys is someone I've got mixed opinions about. Uh, when you look at his cards you think he's insane, but honestly I haven't got on with him too well, although he is okay. And that is Kessie. Uh, the things I like about Kessie is that he is big. 
Uh, he's good. He's good at tackling and intercepting the ball, but it just feels like on the ball he is so clunky. Uh, he never gets the ball out of his feet. But other than that, he's a great central defensive mid. He doesn't cause too many problems, and he does help me out defensively. Uh, and obviously, he costs 30k, so he is a good card. And if you look at his stats, he is fairly balanced as well. So that's why we've gone with Kessie there. Now for the cam, we actually have a player that when you look at him, you'd think he'd be more expensive, uh, and that is Paolo Dybala. The reason we've gone with Dybala is because he's an incredible card. I actually packed him, but he is only like 20 to 30k as well. Uh, the thing with Dybala is he's got good pace, especially with a hunter, good shooting, good passing, great dribbling, and okay physical. Uh, and the other thing about him is that he also has the finesse shot trait. And as you guys know, finesse shots are extremely broken in FIFA 22, so you want to be using them. And obviously Dybala has very good shooting, so you know I highly suggest picking up Dybala because he is incredible, guys. Probably my favorite player in this team. Now, at left mid, we actually have a right mid. Uh, originally, I did have Insigne, and you can pick up Insigne if you want. Uh, but the thing I don't like about Insigne is, although he has the finesse shot trait, he's just too small and weak. And on honestly, he's just not that good on the ball, I don't think. He just gets pushed off it far too easily. And if you're playing him out wide, you know, it's just not what you want. But obviously, you can use Insigne if you want to. But what I opt to do instead is actually use a right mid at left midfield. Uh, uh, and he still gets good chemistry. Oh, what am I doing? And that is, uh, where is he? Chiesa. Now, the thing I like about Chiesa is he's high medium, got good pace, good shooting, good dribbling, okay physical, and decent passing. And obviously, he is also a bit taller than Insigne. I do like Chiesa because he's got like a stocky body type as well, so he doesn't get barged off the ball too much. I don't know why it makes such a big difference, but it does. Uh, he's probably one of the more um, low tier players in this in this team if if, if you want to say that uh, he does cost 17k though so he is obviously decent uh, and I've really enjoyed using him to be honest uh, and obviously because he's right footed coming on from the left he can cut in and finesse shot no problem. Uh, at, at right mid guys we've got a, a player which you guys might not like but I do really like. Uh, especially for his price, and that is Angel Di Maria. Di Maria is an 87 rated card and costs 8k. Just let that sink in, guys. He's he's a high medium, he's got 5 star skill moves. The 2 star weak foot isn't great, yes, but you don't really notice it, be, uh, especially when you're just cut, cutting inside and finessing anyway. Uh, but this guy is actually brilliant, especially with a hunter because it boosts his pace and finishing the things that he was lacking. Uh, he's also got good agility as well, uh, and he is actually 5 foot 11, which is quite tall for a wide player. Uh, I have really enjoyed using Di Maria, so I suggest you pick him up uh, because, like Handanovic, he's an 87 rated card. Well, Handanovic is 86, but you know what I mean. He's an 87 rated card and he costs 8k. You're not going to lose any money on that card. You know, even if he's bad and you sell him, you're not going to lose money on him because 87s will rise above 10k guaranteed. Uh, so that's why I've gone with Di Maria, and obviously, he completes this little PSG right hand side that we've got. Now, finally, at striker, guys, we actually have somebody that I really enjoy using, and that is Chiro Immobile. Uh, now, the reason I like Immobile is because, as you guys probably know, the uh, taller, stockier, slower, more physical players are more meta in FIFA 22, like Lukaku, Haaland, and Immobile is like a, a cheaper version of them, if you will. Uh, the thing I like about Immobile is he's six foot one, high medium, got a good weak foot, skill moves don't matter. Uh, he's got decent pace, good shooting, brilliant shooting actually, uh, okay dribbling, pretty bad passing, and he's got good physical. This guy is so clinical, it is unbelievable. I've really enjoyed using him, and the thing with him as well, guys, is that he's only 9k. Um, and like, like the other players in this team, you're not going to lose money on him. The reason for that is because, like I said, high-rated players will rise because of SBCs. I can't see him going below this price ever in the year. Uh, unless we're right at the end of the game, of course. Uh, but yeah, that is the team, guys. You can set it up however you want. You know, you could set this up in a 4-2-3-1 narrow if you wanted to, a 4-4-2, uh, a 4-1-2-1-2 if you really wanted. Uh, this team is very versatile, and I've enjoyed using it. And like I said, it costs around 400k. 
The most expensive player in this team is Akimi. Uh, but yeah, that is that is basically the team, guys. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video or found it informative, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified when a video is posted. And with all that said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.